Welcome to how to upload and store files using eFile Cabinet Sidekick. There are four ways to upload files into eFile Cabinet using Sidekick. Scanning, printing, drag and drop, and the watch folder. This is how we place files into eFile Cabinet. There are also three feature options as to how to set up storage locations. So after files are uploaded, where do you want to store them? There is the interactive, the default, and the last stored options. The interactive choice is a store forward option. So when you either scan or print a file to eFile Cabinet, or if you place a file into the watched folder, you will then determine where to store it. The interactive choice also works if you drag and drop a file directly into the eFile Cabinet icon. The storage location is established ahead of time when using either the default or the last stored option. Scanning, printing, drag and drop, and a watched folder all work with these two options. I will now demonstrate using Sidekick. So I'm going to start by doing a simple drag and drop. I'm going to open up Sidekick. I'm going to go up to the Home button, and I'm going to go down to my Human Resource Cabinet, and I'm looking for John Doe, my pretend employee. I'm going to open up his drawer. I'm going to go to the Permanent folder, and from there, the Social Security folder. And here is the Social Security card that I'm just going to drag into that folder and drop it. And so now I can peek at that. It's up in the cloud. It's also on my desktop. But let's take a quick peek at it. And it's there up in the cloud that quickly. One of the things I also want to show you is with Sidekick you can drag out of Sidekick into a Windows folder or onto your desktop. So here is that Windows folder. I'm going to take this document and drag it into that Windows folder and there it is. I'm now going to demonstrate how to scan a document into eFile Cabinet by using Sidekick. So the first thing I want to do is determine where I want that document to end up, where I want it to go. So I'm going to open up Sidekick and down under settings I need to change from interactive to use default because I want to set up a default storage location for where this document will be stored into. So from here I will go to that location and I'll come over to my business and I'm going to go down to the tax client individual cabinet. These are my pretend clients. John Bueller's drawer and I'll go down to the correspondence folder which is empty and I simply right click on that and set this item as the default store location. And so there it is. Go back to home, my business. I'm going to bring this over to the right a little bit. I've also set up my camera. I'm going to bring this over. My smartphone, I want to show you my setup here. So I have a camera and so I have three screens. But I really want to show you the scanner here and the document I'm going to scan by just placing it into the scanner. Then I'm going to bring over my eFile Cabinet online storage button. Let's move this over here and so you can see this in real time. I'm going to click on this button and it opens up the virtual scanner. And I'm simply going to come up here, let's bring that in in color, and scan it. So there it comes in, and now you can see it is here, ready to, to store. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And now I'm simply going to click on this store button. Watch what happens. I'm going to close this, watch what happens. It opens up psychic to the precise location and stores that document and we can take a peek at it okay so let's bring it over here the preview window came up on my other screen and that's how you scan a document using sidekick 
So let's move on. Next I'll demonstrate how to use the print to feature to store a document using Sidekick into eFile Cabinet. Now the default storage location is still the same. I'm going to open up this Word document here. Okay, and move this eFile Cabinet Sidekick to the right a little bit. I can send to eFile Cabinet and I can also print to. So let me show you that. I'm going to come up here and first send to. Just click this button. This is the part of the integration we have with Microsoft. And you can see the document has arrived. I can peek at it. And here it is in my preview screen. Now I'm going to come up here and print to. I'll come down here, click on print, and choose the eFile Kevin Online Virtual Printer, and click the print button and you'll see another document, a third one, going into that correspondence folder, which is the default storage location. And you can see here it is. It's the same document. Instead of a Word document, it is now a PDF. And so that's how easy it is to use the Print To feature with Sidekick. Finally, I will demonstrate how to use watched folders in bringing in documents into eFile Cabinet using Sidekick. I'm going to use this document here. It's a newsletter for my pretend business. And I'm going to bring this into eFile Cabinet using a watched folder. So next thing I'm going to do is create a folder, a Windows folder, that I'm going to call watched folder. You can call it anything you want. And I'll move that over here. Then I'm going to open up Sidekick. And I'm going to change the default storage location to a folder inside Tax Client Individuals. And I'm going to go up to the newsletter drawer to the first quarter folder. It's empty. I'm going to right click and make that or set this item as the default store location. Okay, so then now I'm going to go down to the settings and to the set watch folder button and then go to my desktop and there is the watched folder that I just created in Windows. I'll click on that and select that folder. So anything that goes into this folder now, whether I drag and drop it, whether I scan into it, will automatically go into that folder that I've set up inside eFile Cabinet. So let's do that. Let's just come back to the home and let's see in real time. Here's the watch folder. Let's just drop this document in there and see what happens. You can see the number one. It's in there. It's already deleted out of the Windows folder and it is inside eFile cabinet. And there it is, the preview window up in the cloud that quickly. I want to show you one other really cool thing. Because this is Sidekick, but everything that happens in Sidekick also happens inside eFile Cabinet online, Rubik's. So let's go to that same location and let's take a look and see. Let's refresh this. There is the newsletter. And I've put a predefined document name in here. I'm just going to show you if I want to change this name, rename it. I've set it up so this will give me a date. So I'm going to change it to this predefined name and hit my enter button. And now this document has today's date, the date that I placed it in. Thanks for watching. How to upload and store files using Sidekick.